I just received this flat screen TV wall mount from Amazon. It is one of their best sellers. The brand is a Video Secure and it's called an articulating wall mount for flat panel TVs and monitors. It's model ML531BE. Today I'm going to be installing this correctly and then I'm going to show you some of the features that are included with this flat screen monitor mount. This kit has a lot of parts, but it comes with detailed instructions for installing it on concrete walls or stud walls. Each one of these compartments for the fasteners has a number that corresponds with the detailed instructions. The kit even includes a small level so that you can get it installed properly. Real quickly, don't be intimidated by all the parts and pieces that you see. This is a shot of after I finished the installation of the TV. There are a lot of parts and pieces left over. It's not because I didn't do the install right. It's because you're provided with a lot of different pieces so that you can install this mount with varying models of flat screen monitors or TVs. If you're installing your TV mount on a block wall, the kit even includes the plastic anchors that you'll need. Throughout this installation process, we want to make sure that we check and double check everything that we do. The first thing to check is the TV mounting bracket to make sure that it fits the flat screen. And this one's looking really good. I want to mount my TV 41 and a half inches off of the floor. So what I need to determine is the distance from the mounting hole down to the bottom of the TV. I'm going to measure that, and I've got about five and five eighths inches. When installing your bracket on the wall, the top of the bracket has the two holes, the bottom of the bracket has one slotted hole. As you can see, I have a hole in the wall where I made a mistake earlier, so you can learn from my mistakes. I had the bracket upside down and didn't realize it until later in the installation. Okay, now we're going to figure out the installation height of the bracket. We know that we want our TV at 41 and a half inches off of the floor, and we determine that from the center of this hole to the bottom of the TV is 5 and 5 eighths inches. So what I've done here is I've taken and put a piece of paper right at 5 and 5 eighths inches from this hole down. That represents the bottom of the TV. So if I measure back this way, to 41 and a half inches representing the bottom of my TV. That puts the bottom, the actual bottom of the mounting bracket at 45 and a half inches or the center of the mounting hole at 46 inches. Okay, so I determined that from the right wall to the edge of the bracket, I want it to be 28 and a half inches. So I'm gonna measure over here 28 and a half and I'm gonna put a small mark. Then I determined from the floor up I want my bracket to be at 45 and a half inches to the bottom of the bracket. So I'm going to put a mark there. Okay, I'm installing my TV on a stud wall today. I have an approximate location of where I want it to be. Now I need to make sure that there is a stud in that location or near that location. Anytime you're installing a large TV, you absolutely have to make sure that your bracket is secured to a stud. You see reviews on Amazon where the TVs fell off of the wall? It wasn't the bracket's fault, it was the installation process that failed because they didn't attach the bracket to a stud. There are a lot of different methods that people use for finding studs. I prefer to just tap on the wall, listen to the hollow sound when it gets solid, there's a stud back there, but I've been doing this for a long time. I suggest you go to YouTube and research how to find a stud. <laughs> Not meaning a man. Anyway, you got... Cut. Let's try that again. Yeah, go to YouTube. Some people use like nail punches to find them. Other people use drills. They'll just drill in the drywall until they hit a stud. And obviously, you can go buy a stud finder. A lot of different methods. You choose the one that will work best for you. Okay, so now that I know exactly where the edge of my bracket's gonna be, I can use this level they provided. And I can get me a level line. And it's so vitally important that when you're working with a level that you get that bubble exactly in the middle. If it is off just the slightest, it's not gonna be plumb the way it's supposed to be. So I have that exactly in the center. Now I'm just gonna draw a line that represents 
the edge of my bracket. And I can extend that line if I just line up the level along the line that I've already drawn. And I can just draw it up a little bit further. So that represents the edge of my bracket. Now if by some chance your plumb line was a little bit off, you get your TV hung and it's out of level, this bracket has about a half inch flexibility back and forth and then it has some lockdown screws where you can lock it into place. Okay, the next step is to mark where we need to do the pre-drilled holes for the mounting bracket. So I'm just going to hold it up on my marks that I made. My pencil. I'm going to just make those marks where I need to pre-drill those holes. Okay, the installation instructions call for a 7 32nd inch bit. Luckily for me, I have one. Okay, that's great. Nice and solid. Okay, these lag bolts come with a Phillips head, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pre-run them in the holes to make it easier to install when I actually have the bracket. Okay, now that the bracket is installed, it's time to remove the TV mounting plate from the actual bracket. And you do this, there's small screws on either side. There's just two of them, one on each side. Now, this bracket is made in such a way that it actually lifts over the other piece. So, I don't know if you can see this, but once you get it on the TV, it'll just be a matter of, of getting that little groove right there to hang over the lip. And then it'll just hold the TV and then you can put the two screws in. Okay, the next step is to determine the correct size screw to use for installing the bracket. Uh, there's several different assortments in that package. Okay, I've got my bracket in place with the four screws. I haven't tightened it down yet. Make sure that you have this lip is facing up and the place where you put the two screw holes is down. All right, so we need to tighten these really good. Now the instructions say that if you have a curved back TV, that you have to use spacers when you put the bracket on. I don't have a curved back TV, so I don't have to use the spacers. Okay, I got this portion of my bracket nice and straight and secure. Now I'm ready to hang my TV. Okay. Just trying to get lined up with the bracket here. Take a guess. Look at that. I hit it the first time. Amazing. Yeah, got it. Okay, see it just lifts right over that bracket and hangs. Now I can put those two screws in and get it adjusted out level. Okay, there are a couple of ways to adjust your TV. These two guys right here, you loosen them and you can adjust the TV tilt away or back towards the wall. Then you're provided with a wrench. There's a center bolt right here. You loosen and tighten that bolt so that you can adjust and make the TV level. Finishing up on some final details here, you can see the cords. It has a special place where you can run the cords through. And also, these plastic covers go on the bottom and the top of the bracket. Okay, that's it. Mission accomplished. I think the only thing I would have done differently is I would have accounted for a little bit more on the height because I wanted to be able to fit my speakers underneath the monitor on the desk and I can actually do that, but whenever I tilt the TV forward, it doesn't allow enough room for the speaker. So if I had just allowed an additional inch for the tilting of the TV, um, everything would have worked fine. But anyway, I'm pleased with the way things turned out, and I hope this video helps you.